before we got started, I could just uh, ask you some questions about what you're hoping to achieve and um, what things you've tried so far. Like you said, you've been in therapy and you've tried some different things and kind of tell me where, what's going on and what you've been trying and where you feel stuck. And then we'll go from there. Um, I, this is a new, um, I guess, version of anxiety for me that I'm dealing with. Um, I got really sick at the end of last year and have still yet to really figure out what was going on. Um, and so because there's a lot of what ifs associated with that, um, it has heightened anxiety. Um, I am now actively working on my health as far as what I'm eating and supplements, things like that, working closely with a naturopathic doctor who's been super helpful. Um, and then I started therapy in June and have been going weekly um, to work on, um, I guess, more traditional sense, anxiety and depression, things like that, that I've dealt with for um, most of my life. Um, it's probably been 20 years um, since I was a teenager. So um, I am, I feel like I'm still trying to recover from the blow that it was getting sick and not really knowing what was going on. Um, I still have symptoms occasionally. Physically, I'm much better, but I feel like it really knocked me flat on my back as far as progress with anxiety. Um, and depersonalization is something that I haven't experienced until now to this degree. And so the therapy really, I'm trying to find ways to cope with that when it does crop up. And um, I'm trying to come at it from as many angles as I can, but I feel like in therapy, we're kind of on a loop now. Um, she gave me lots of great resources, things like tapping, and she, you know, believes in using oils and things like that. And, um, but I feel like, I feel like I need more than what we're doing. And I believe in what AFT can do in a smaller amount of time. I feel like it's a more potent uh, tool. And so um, I'm, curious to give that a shot and see if maybe I can get a hold of some things that I'm having trouble accessing during my more traditional talk therapy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes it's a matter of just finding that right entry point to know yeah. where to use the lever. And when you can find that, then you can open things up. Um, tell me more about this depersonalization. What is it you actually experience? Okay. For me, I um, start to feel like I'm not necessarily real or like maybe the world around me is not real, like I'm watching a movie. Um, this started when I was severely malnutrition last, um, I guess like early, early this year, um, late, late winter, early spring. Um, and I think that some of it was just lack of nutrition. I was unable to eat for a very long time. And so I think honestly, like blood sugar, calorie count, things like that were really affecting my ability to function. But since then, it's been hard to keep that at bay, even when I do feel physically good. Um, and so there's a lot of, um, uh, I would say, intrusive thoughts, recurring thoughts that kind of get stuck on a loop about, um, I'm a believer. And so for me, it's, am I real? Is God real? What am I doing here? Um, things like that. And um, worry about death and things like that as well. And did those, um, and did, those, feeling, did those, I'm sorry, did those start when you were having this uh, episode of really poor health and malnourishment or is that when those thoughts started? As to far come? as my ability to manage them, yes. I would say that that was kind of in the back of my mind for a long time, but it would be once or twice a year. I would have like a rough couple of days grappling with some like existential questions. Mm -hmm. um, but since then it's been kind of on a cycle. Um, and it's been a lot harder to kind of put that out of my mind and not worry about it. Once it comes to mind, it's really hard for me to get it out. Yeah, gotcha. And does that go along with the anxiety? In other words, do you get those thoughts more when you're anxious or depressed or could, could there be any time? Yes, um, and I think that they cause it as well. I could be doing okay anxiety-wise, and then those things come up, and then I am anxious because I'm aware that it's happening when it's happening, and so it, I worry because I feel like I can't beat it, um, or like it's yeah. not up to me what I think about. Yeah. So. Yeah, so would you say that that's the most distressing part, is those types of episodes, those kind of existential moments where everything's unreal and you don't know what's happening and 
um, is that what you would most like relief from or what would what would you most like relief from right now? I think that's probably it. Um, I, like I said, I've had anxiety for a long time and I, this has been the hardest part of it to manage. Um, I feel like it, I'm not in control of it at all. Um, almost hunted by it. Like even when I feel well, I'm like, okay, but how long is this really going to last? Mm -hmm. um, whereas in the past, I, it's just feeling out of control really. Cause that's really kind of the whole, I feel like for me, the whole basis of anxiety, but I've found ways to cope. And I feel like if I can kind of go off my checklist of things, making sure I'm taking care of myself, then I can kind of, I have relief in that. But with this, it, that doesn't work or it hasn't. Mm -hmm. so far. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so as you know, the first step is to formulate a really good goal that expresses how you would like to feel. So how would you describe the opposite of what this awful set, you know, this awful experience is when you're feeling like you're not real, the world's not real, God's not real. What's the opposite of that? How would you like to be able to feel or what would you like to be able to know or experience? Um, I think, I'm going to try to be succinct with it. I I would like to be at peace in my own body um, and have kind of a sense of, um, I don't know if I want to say purpose necessarily, but to feel secure in my life, in this season, in myself, um, almost like my mind and my body being back on the same page because I feel like they split when this happens. And so yeah. um, even just being at home in myself and having peace in that um, would be huge. Okay, I'm just gonna mirror back some of the things you said and we're gonna work together to okay. find a phrase that really fits. Okay. I, I'm at peace in my own body. I am secure in my life. Um, I feel safe in my body. That's really good, feeling safe in my body. Okay. Yeah, and that is a, an existential issue, you know. We come mm -hmm. to Earth here and we have us this body and either you know, we feel safe in it or we don't. And if we don't, that, that's, there's nowhere else to be. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's very distressing. So, yeah, well, let's go with that. Um, and okay. as we go through the process, if something else comes in and you feel like you want to tweak it or change the goal statement a little bit, that's fine. But we'll start with this, with I feel safe in my body. Um, Okay. I'll just ask one more question. Do you, is there any specific situations that you most want this to feel true or is it more of a global thing? In other words, I feel safe in my body during stressful times or I feel safe in my body at home or is it just more like you want it just to be all the time? Um, I think it's all the time. Okay. Because really, yeah. I feel like I, there's no way of knowing when it's going to yeah. Start to surface, and so. Okay. All right. Well, let's do that. Uh, well, you could add. You could say, "I always feel safe in my body." Okay. That like almost that. seems like it ups the ante a little bit. Yeah. Right. Make it hard, really hard for your subconscious to believe that, based on your experiences. But that's what you really want to always feel safe in your body. Mm -hmm. right? How true or possible does that feel right now, from zero to ten, where zero is? You feel like it's there's no way that could be in a 10 is you totally got it. Probably a three. Okay. I always feel safe in my body. And I'm taking notes. You don't have to take notes. You can just. Okay. So, um, okay. So say that phrase. And then after you say it, pause and listen. Uh, see what the negative voice says that tells you this can't happen. Okay. I always feel safe in my body. Okay, I always feel safe in my body. Um, I mean, immediately it's a barrage of there's no way you can know that. Um, there's no really, I don't feel like there's a source that I can trust or that I can do a good enough job taking care of myself to make that a possibility. Yeah, so let's just go with that very first thing that came, which is there's no way you can know that. Okay. Okay, so when you hear that, <clears throat> when you hear that voice saying, there's no way you can know that, how do you feel? Um, I feel intimidated. Um, there's fear there. Yeah. For sure. 
Yeah. Okay. So connect with that fear. Where do you feel that fear in your body? Um, I feel it in my throat, I think. Okay. So connect with that feeling of fear in your throat and close your eyes and drift back to an earlier time when you felt the same way. You felt the same sense of fear in your throat. What's the first memory that pops up? Or just tell me when you, when you see something. You got it? Uh, yes, a very um, vivid memory of a panic attack I had on the side of the road probably 15 years ago. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, perfect. So uh, grab your oils, your memory okay. release blend, frankincense, lavender, and stress away. When you got them, you got them? Okay, yeah. cup your nose, close your eyes, and just breathe the oils into that memory. So just go back into that memory of that panic attack on the side of the road, that feeling of fear, deep inhalations. Breathe the oils into that memory. And just watch what happens. Okay. And what um, happened? What did you notice? I felt like I was taken back into that driver's seat and the, it was almost like there was an earthquake that stopped. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been learning through this process that things are not often as bad as I think that they are. And if they maybe are, they're temporary. Mm -hmm. um, I'm learning how to recover more quickly from things that feel earth shattering. Um, and I feel like that's what I'm hearing is that it's possible to be okay sooner than you think. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was a super high stress time in my life. And so I think that knowing what I know now, if I went back, there would be things that I could do to kind of, um, boost myself or armor myself a little bit, um, yeah. to make that an easier experience. Yep. Okay, great. So I'm going to go back to your goal. So say it again. Say, I always feel safe in my body. Okay. I always feel safe in my body. How true or possible does that feel now? Probably at a four. Okay. All right. What else is that negative voice saying that tells you that can't happen? I'm hearing that um, it's a long process with a lot of pieces mm -hmm. which puts it on me as a responsibility, I guess, that I'm not um, fit to fight it almost. Mm -hmm. I guess it's too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel when you hear that voice saying it's a long process, a lot of pieces, you're not really fit to fight it? That's really frustrating. Um, that's probably the over, not necessarily anger, almost, but, um, really intense frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So where do you feel that frustration in your body? That I feel like is like right in my core. Like it comes from the very, very center of me. Yeah. Okay. So connect with that frustration feeling in your core, close your eyes. Drift back to an earlier time when you had the same sense of frustration in your core. Let me know when you see a first memory or image that comes to mind. Okay. Um, yeah. High school algebra. Okay. <laughs> um, 
super clear memory I haven't thought about in a long time. I'm doing homework in my friend's kitchen and knowing that I had paid attention, I had worked it and reworked it and it just wasn't wasn't coming out for me. Um, I, I'm relating that pretty easily at the moment to feeling like I've done everything I can do and I've done all the right things and it's still not, Yeah. it's not working. There should be a formula and there's not. Um, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So your, your brain brought you back to a memory that even though totally different context, that feeling is the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you have um, some inner child oil? I do. I grabbed that one to bring with me. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so you know what to do. Put your inner child yeah. in your mom. Close your eyes and just take some deep breaths and deeply inhale the oil into that memory of being in your friend's kitchen, that frustration. Okay, so same memory. Um, we were, the first time I saw it just now, it was, we were alone. Um, and the second time just now, our tutor was there that I remember super clearly. Um, I told him like, good luck. I don't do this. I don't math. You can't help me. And he was like, that's okay, great. And then he showed us, you know, how to do it. And after having him teach me, it came second nature. And he was like, you were so full of baloney at the beginning telling me you didn't know how to do this. You're acing everything. And I still to this day don't know what the difference was between him and, you know, 10 other people. Um, but him showing up made the difference and gave me an avenue to be able to understand. Okay, so that was and a so, real memory. So he really did do that? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah I can't, okay. I couldn't do it today, but it got huh? me through high school. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's great. So yeah, so and this is what happens that as you, as you breathe into that memory, something shifts and you all of a sudden start resourcing and you start mm -hmm. having the memories that include the ability, whereas before you didn't. So mm -hmm. okay. yeah, great. that's fascinating. Perfect. Okay, so we just go back to your goal. So now, when you say I always feel safe in my body, how possible does that feel now? Mm -hmm. from zero to 10? Mm, I probably moved to a six. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I always feel safe in my body. Listen in. What else is that negative voice saying that tells you that can't happen? Um, I'm hearing like, um, I guess not being able to trust myself. Um, even okay. if I were presented with a cure or, you know, an avenue, a way to make a change, um, doubting my choices, doubting my, you know, putting my trust in this, that, or the other, um, could be bad judgment, could be a bad decision. Yeah. Um, so I can't trust myself. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. So when you hear that voice saying, I can't trust myself, how do you feel? Um, Mm, disappointed. There's another word. I'm I'm looking for it. Um, yeah, I don't know what you would like. A kid in trouble. Um, not guilty, but just like uh, doomed or um, yeah. Um, just despair. Um, Like you yeah. know something bad's gonna happen or you know that mm -hmm. somehow you didn't, mm -hmm. not gonna work out. Yeah. Um, hopeless. Yeah, hopeless is good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, okay. So connect with that feeling of hopelessness and where do you feel that in your body? Um. That one I feel like is in my head. Mm -hmm. 
or my neck. Okay, so connect with that hopeless feeling in your head and neck. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Drift back to an earlier time when you felt that same hopeless feeling in your head and neck. First memory that pops up. Um, I got kind of snapshots of several um, panic attacks from the past, the ones that have crept up on me. Um, sometimes I'm anxious all day and I just know eventually, probably. And um other times i think i'm doing great and then it's like just out of nowhere um unpredictable unexpected yeah okay there's several panic attacks that just crept up on you unexpectedly yeah mm -hmm. okay so um let's see do you have release oil yes let's see my husband says i'm really good at collecting the purple labels mm -hmm. <laughs> those are my favorite ones I don't know what they mean, but I hear you. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to be, instead of a snapshot, it's like you're going to be watching a movie. Like of all these three, these okay. times when you had this panic attacks and that feeling, and it's like the subtitle is hopeless. Okay. okay. So go ahead and just close your eyes and just take your time and just breathe into that movie. All those experiences, those times when you were in those panic attacks and you felt hopeless, just breathe into those and watch what happens. Okay, I feel like they're being um, counteracted with other memories of similar experiences that did not go badly. Um, almost like success being brought to my mind or victory in the past when I didn't necessarily know. I wasn't sitting there in a restaurant going, I'm not having a panic attack, but it was just, I felt well enough that it didn't even come to mind um, versus times when, um, I felt like an outing or an event or something like that was a failure because of the panic attack. Yeah, so just like before, you started just spontaneously remembering and putting together those times when it didn't overwhelm you and, mm -hmm. and you were okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Great. yeah. Okay, perfect. So, all right, let's circle back to your goal. So, um, now when you say, I always feel safe in my body, how possible does that feel now? Um, I feel much more capable, so probably an eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we're going to be thorough. We're going to keep going until there's really no doubt at all in your mind. So once okay. again, so say your phrase, I always feel safe in my body. Okay, I always feel safe in my body. And listen mm -hmm. in. What else is that negative voice saying tells you that can't happen? I, f I feel like I hear almost immediately after I say it, somebody like another voice saying for now, mm -hmm. like it's, um, it won't stick. Yeah. Temporary relief. Exactly. Okay. All right. So how do you feel when you hear that voice saying for now? Um, that feels like, um, mm, almost like annoyance, mm -hmm. um, frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you feel that annoyant, that annoyed feeling in your body? And mm, that's in my, my chest. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes and connect with that annoyed feeling and drift back to an earlier time when you had the same annoyed feeling.
So I feel this way towards myself often. I feel annoyed with myself often because I feel like I get on a loop and it's, um, I'm thinking of times when I've been complaining, whining, focusing on the negative, things like that. And I, I get frustrated with myself because I feel like it's, it's on autopilot and I would really like to cut it out. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it, then when other people do that, it annoys me as well because I pick up on it. I'm super sensitive to it. Um, so if my husband's having a rough day, that's frustrating because I'm already annoyed with myself for being negative. And so, um, it's kind of like this very familiar feeling of being annoyed mm -hmm. with yourself, mm -hmm. annoyed with your negativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. And are there times you can actually picture though? Cause again, kind of like a movie of all these times. Or is it just like a general? Mm -hmm. No, I can think of like specific Perfect. That's what days I that felt that way. Yep. Okay, great. Okay, so let's see. So you already have a bunch of oil on your hands. So you may have enough on to not need any more. Or if you feel like you need another, you could just put a little splash of any of those oils back on. Okay. Let's do like one drop. Once again, close your eyes and just watch that movie. Just breathe the oils into that movie of all those times when you felt annoyed with yourself for being negative. Deep inhalations, just watch what happens. like um, there's peace seeping into those memories um, like a sense of calm um, I feel like the Lord tells me to calm down a lot <laughs> so but in a it's this is um, soft um, kind of takes the edge off good okay yeah all right, so go back to your goal. Um, I okay. always feel safe in my body. How possible does that feel now? I'd probably put it at like a nine slash 10. Okay, so almost there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be thorough. So uh, say, okay. say your goal again and listen in. You might hear a positive voice. You might hear a negative voice. You might hear no voice. We wanna just, we wanna see if there's any doubt, any of that energy of doubt. So okay. I always feel safe in my body. What do you hear? Okay. I always feel safe in my body. Yeah, it's quiet. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a relief, isn't it, to not have yes. those voices there anymore. Yes. Great. Okay, so we're gonna move to our affirmation phase. So um okay. So what is an affirmation that expresses kind of this new awareness, this new understanding that you've been receiving throughout this session? How would you put that into words? Um, I feel like even the intention with different um, emphasis could work. Um, Like I, I always do feel safe in my body. Like that's that's gonna be the norm from now on. Um, okay. So your affirmation could be, I always feel safe in my body. It could be, I feel safe in my body now. I feel safe in my body today. Mm -hmm. um, I feel great in my body. Um, I think today is a good one because that's been a theme mm -hmm. um, over the last few months is taking it one day at a time and, and that that's enough. Yeah. Um, Today's today's good and that's good. <laughs> yeah, I feel safe in my body today. Yeah. Yeah. So if you started every day affirming that and yeah. kind of doing that until you really your mind was on track with that, and then anytime throughout the day, mm -hmm. if anything starts to waver, going back in and saying that again, it mm -hmm. helps get you on that 
on that track because our mm -hmm. our mind is kind of like um um do you ever see the winter olympics and they have those um like the bobsled or the luge and mm -hmm. um, you know the bobsled like they're at the top of that hill they get on that track and they go super fast because the track is already laid out and so they just go faster and faster down that mm -hmm. our mind is kind of like that too like we're on the top of the hill and there's a few different tracks that we could go on and if we start heading on that negative track it's just going to go so fast because it's already like been it's already a, like a neural pathway that's been developed in mm -hmm. our brain so now the same thing with the positive we wanted to have that positive pathway the more we affirm it the more we go down that the more that's an option for us to get onto that path and then that becomes just our automatic way of doing it so mm -hmm. that's kind of the purpose of the affirmations is so that you reinforce like right now you say that there's nothing in you that doubts that you can feel safe in your body which is mm -hmm. quite a bit different than half an hour ago so yeah uh, so now really the job is just to keep affirming that until until it feels so that that feels like your default instead of the other one mm -hmm. yeah so, that's good great so so as you know uh, we like to use an oil for that um either mm -hmm. transformation or believe or another oil that you really like i've got believe okay Okay, so take a drop of believe in your palms. Okay. Rub your hands together and breathe. And actually, um, I want you to breathe and then put your hands on your heart. Okay. I feel like this might be the one for the the, uh, the uh, power pose for this. And just say that I feel safe in my body today. Okay. Go ahead and say that a few times. Okay. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. And breathe. Say it again. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. Okay. And is there, do you like that pose? Or is there any other movement or pose that you want to experiment with? I like that. It feels grounding, secure. Perfect. Okay. Say that a yeah. couple more times until it really okay. sinks in. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. I feel safe in my body today. Yeah, it feels good. I like it. Perfect. Okay, great. So now action steps. So is there any action you can take? Now one action step, of course, is doing this affirmation and that might be mm -hmm. all you need to do. Mm -hmm. Any other action step that comes to mind that uh, will help you to make that true every day? Um, I think I need to be really intentional about speaking positive things out loud, even if they're irrelevant <laughs> to the moment or how my day is going. Um, almost the way that people talk about being um, using gratitude, mm -hmm. um, just randomly stating things that are good. <laughs> right. Um, um, so that I'm hearing it, my household's hearing it. Um, feeding the atmosphere in that way i think okay. and so do you mean is it so that would be an action that just throughout the day just to make mm -hmm. sure that you make a point of saying positive things mm -hmm. yeah okay and yeah. um you know again just like just like the bobsled run that's something that the more you do it, it becomes a habit and that can kind of become mm -hmm. the new normal right mm -hmm. yeah okay good so uh, do you feel like it would be helpful to include that in the affirmation to remind you to do that um or it could be we, separate yeah i might keep it separate okay so it's i feel safe in my body today's your affirmation and then your action is yeah. i want you to write it down maybe write that action step down underneath okay. your affirmation so that okay even though you're not affirming it is it a reminder that to keep doing that yeah that okay almost i feel almost like the affirmation enables me to do those things right. it gets you to the starting point where you can do this mm -hmm. yeah Okay, perfect. Um, Grace, how do you feel now? I feel pretty good. I feel hopeful. Good. It's been a while. So yeah, yeah, fantastic. So yeah. I want you to do your affirmation, uh, especially in the morning, but morning okay. and night is good too, because it's nice okay. to go to sleep feeling that way too, yeah. for at least three days, if not longer. Okay. Do that with your power pose and your oil. And uh, I'm going to check in with you in a few days and see how you're doing. Okay. And I find that people, they kind of come to AFT when they are in transition and when they're mm -hmm. needing to shift from a way of being to a new way of being or like a quantum mm -hmm. leap.
And mm -hmm. so you feeling really good and safe in your body and mm -hmm. uh, conquering the anxiety and stuff, that's going to allow you to kind of step to that next place. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. I look forward to see how you're doing. And um, yeah, we'll just check in in a few days and okay. um, uh, just pay attention and, you know, jot things down if anything occurs to you over the next few days, any experiences okay. you have. Um, and uh, we can talk about it in the future. Okay. Sounds right. good. Thanks for everything. Right. Have a great night. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.